This portion of the Merlin instructional video describes the method for acquiring a focused retinal image with the Merlin surgical system. There are five simple steps involved in the initial setup for a focused retinal image. Once these steps are completed at the beginning of the case, then you can simply switch the LPU between its up and down positions as needed with no further adjustment. This discussion assumes that you are familiar with each of the main components of the Merlin surgical system and how they function, as well as how to install and align the system. For information on the Merlin system's installation, alignment, and its components, consult your user instruction manual. As the starting point for achieving a focused retinal image, make sure your microscope is positioned over the exterior of the eye with a focused image of the cornea. The LPU should be in its up position. For a microscope with a 175 mm objective lens, the focal distance from the objective lens to the cornea will be 175 mm, or about 7 inches. For a microscope with a 200 mm objective lens, the focal distance from the objective lens to the cornea will be 200 mm, or about 8 inches. Step 1 is to use the microscope focusing pedal to move the microscope up about 2 cm from its starting point. Step 2 is to adjust the LPU focusing wheel so that the LPU focusing adjustment is at its upper travel limit. Step 3 is to switch the LPU to its down position. Additionally, confirm that the CLA condensing lens is in its forward position beneath the microscope objective lens. For the automated CLA, this should happen automatically. For the manual CLA, the user will need to pull the lens forward using the sterile handle. Also make sure that your endo illumination source is on and illuminating the retina. After step 3 is completed, the image in the Merlin surgical lens should have an out of focus image that includes at least part of the retina. Step 4 is to adjust the LPU focusing wheel downward until the image of the retina in the Merlin surgical lens becomes focused. At this point, the field of view of the retina image in the surgical lens will be very small but should appear focused. The fifth and final step is to use the microscope focusing pedal to move the microscope downward closer to the eye. As the Merlin surgical lens moves closer to the eye, the field of view of the retina will increase. A suggested position for the Merlin surgical lens relative to the eye is about 5 mm above the cornea. Once you have completed the fifth step, no further adjustment is required. You can simply switch the LPU between its up and down positions as needed without adjusting the position of the microscope. It is important to remember two items when the LPU is in the down position and you are viewing the retina with a Merlin surgical lens. First, all focusing adjustments are made only with the LPU focusing wheel. Second, adjusting the microscope height with its focusing pedal changes only the field of view of the Merlin surgical lens. Again, to review the basic steps for achieving a focused retinal image, one, move the microscope up slightly, about two centimeters or one inch. 2. Adjust the LPU focus adjustment wheel to its uppermost position. 3. Switch the LPU to its down position. Make sure the CLA condensing lens is in its forward position under the microscope objective lens. 4. Adjust the LPU focus adjustment wheel downward until a focused image is seen. 5. Adjust the microscope downward to increase the field of view of the retina. Typically, placing the lens at a distance of about 5 mm or 1 quarter inch above the cornea is optimal. Following the five steps in this video will allow you to quickly reach a crisp, clear retinal view with your Merlin Surgical System.